Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday, January 19th, 2016. Um, futures trading contains substantial risk and is not for every investor. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And hypothetical performance disclaimer, uh, hypothetical performance results have many inherent limitations, uh, which are described on my website, meaning um, yesterday's charts do not mean that they will print that way tomorrow. Um, each day is individual. And here we are looking at the E-mini. We had some China news that was disappointing, but not horrible. Um, how much of that is manipulated with the um, um, China? We just don't know what their data is. We rallied up overnight because the data was not horrible and it's leading the talking heads to speculate should they consider the downtrend over for several reasons. Uh, first, on the daily, there was, um, let me show you the daily, a little bit of hope that we got down to the bottom of the range and have been popping out of it. But we're bouncing between, we're inside the range and we're approaching the top of the range of the current range. So what do you do in a range for each leg? You sell the top and you buy the bottom. So we're getting towards a stalling point. Um, and that's why prices slow down at this moment coming into that range. And here it is on the 240. Now I have... Um, a different VWAP version. I've got the contract, the current futures contract VWAP. And you see each time it has hit this outer ledge, it has rejected uh, this, the lower standard deviation. And although we've broken out initially of this very steep, very steep angled um, sell off. Um, if we break below this candle, the 240 minute candle, it's not going to bode well for this um, rally. I would imagine that we would see price rejecting somewhere along this level that it's stalling at. So we could get a push up to 1915 thereabouts and just start seeing some sideways uh, small up thrust down small up make some progress up thrust and then sort of stall out up here between 1915 and 1920 and start making our way back down because we are in a downtrend and we are in a range so we've up thrust overnight and then we're stalling at this level. If we do get back into the value area, then that's very positive that we're firming and finding a bottom. But so far, there's no really indication that we've found a bottom. All we've done is popped out of a very tight down channel, but it's still a down channel. So if it looks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's still a duck. So we're in a downtrend. Here's the range box right here. So we're still ranging inside this last leg. And what I would expect to see would be a downtrend push somewhere around here if we're not already in it. I guess I could make this bigger. So that's a big, you know, bullseye on the chart. I realize that, but I'm just trying to show you that I am expecting price to come back down um, and not just push all the way up inside the range, the value area. So how do you trade this? When the value is mixed, you wait, 
you wait for all the levels to line up and we were green on that 15 minutes and we just turned red we were green green so once this 60 minute chart lines up we can take the trade back down it towards yesterday's close for a um, short-term trend trade realizing that the direction guide won't change direction until we get way down here below yesterday's close and start um, trading so it'll be blank inside uh, meaning um, we could get some funky trading today in the ES as the market tries to decide if it's bullish or bearish or flat or what exactly it's going to do because we're trading against the previous close current open it's going to be mixed and anytime you have a mixed market you're going to get mixed direction currently we're starting to roll below that 8 EMA got it on the 30 and just waiting for that 60 minute to catch up so here looks like a good target down here to trade to which would be yesterday's close. Amazing how this works out, right? We'll see what happens when it bounces on yesterday's high. That should likely get some bulls stepping back into the market. And we'll see if it makes it down to 1886. So I'm seeing the top of the world coming up here. This is R2, 161.8. And here was yesterday's or the previous POC that it's turning on. So I would say this would be a very good location to start taking a short in the E-mini. And on my shorter term time frame, I've got my shorts coming in. Looking at crude, we are in a mini, very tight, um, congestion consolidation and it's well below the contract the previous contract versus the current contract so I don't know if we'll make it back up to this current previous contract value or not but we're entering back into the value of the current contract And on the weekly, we are below the prior week and we're bouncing off the prior week deviation low and we're coming back down off of this trend line that I've drawn support at resistance. So we hit the resistance and we're coming back down, which is what you would expect for this market given all the news out of Iran. So, um, So definitely um, my bias is short for crude, as is represented by the weekly daily 6015. We're just waiting for price to get back below yesterday's close for the um, 
direction guide system to, to catch up. And it's hard to do that on a, on a Monday because of the um, Sunday moves. So we made it up to the yesterday 127 and we're selling off. So uh, until we can get down to that yesterday close and, and continue lower, the direction guide is going to be empty, just like the ES, meaning we're going to get some rotational trading up and down choppy as the market decides whether it's going to be a bull or a bear. And my guess, like the ES, is it's going to be a bear. So, um... to figure out what is wrong with my template oh it's a dog if you just if you see why why am I not getting my template populating <clears throat> you probably don't have enough data days in there for it to get a signal there we go so as we can see we're in a downtrend <laughs> I didn't really need the red paint to show me that but it's nice to have it to remind me that um, we are moving down and so you can pull up your lower time frame chart and check to see where you are on that 8 EMA. And we're still above it on the uh, 240 so we should be bouncing on that at VWAP and see if we can close below it for a short so like I said it's going to be a bit choppy rotational as we work out who's got control the bulls or the bear in this middle part of no man's land without any signals a difficult chart location that is created often on a Sunday for um, and then Monday was not a trading session so we're a little bit behind the eight ball on our signals and as and you can see that with all of the um, mixed up markets but crude just did go negative just turned so I would be looking for um, continued um, down strength and I would sell any rallies on crude. So there you go, mixed messages for the markets, but with definitely we're still in down trends on, in my opinion, both markets. Um, there you go. Y'all have a good trading day. See you tomorrow.